What's up everyone, this is FM Scout Tactic Testing, I am Tucker Jobs and the tactic we are showing you today is absolutely fantastic, it's very attacking, it's a nap tactic, it's technically classed as a top team tactic but the underdogs we used in this test actually did pretty well. Stay tuned for all the results and the instructions. Right then, so here we are. And before we start, make sure to go down and click the subscribe button and like this video. And if you want even more videos on Football Manager, then go in the description and I'm sure my uh, link to the channel that I have will be there and you can check out all of them as well. So let's get started with the tactic. Here is the Kashmir 2-3-3-2 tactic by Nap. And the teams taking part in this test, usually on my test, I go for a top team and a mid to low team. And in this case, it's no different. All right, we've got Manchester United and West Ham, PSG, FC Lorient, and a few teams in the lower leagues are all mid table. Blackburn, Bristol Rovers, and Leighton Orient. So those of you who cannot download, I will go through the instructions in just a sec, but those of you that can, the link will be in the description. So let's get on with the instructions then. Advanced forward left, advanced forward right, shadow striker, winger left, winger right, complete wing back left, complete wing back right. Both have a mark specific position and that would be the attacker midfielder left. So if it's the right hand side uh, defender, you want the attacker, mid, uh, attacker midfielder left marking. And uh, if it's the left defender, you want the attacking uh, right. And then we've got the defensive midfielder, four plane defender left, four plane defender right. And the sweeper keeper, set piece instructions then, corners, defending right and left. And attacking left and right, and your taker is aiming for the near post, ladies and gents. Free kick instructions, defending right and left, and attacking left and right, and all that is mixed. If we go to the small chances shot, attacking right and left, indirect wide, attacking left and right, and finally indirect deep, attacking right and left. And throw-ins, defending right, defending left, and attacking left and attacking right. And it's your wing backs that are doing the throw-ins and they are long as you can see right here. So back to the tactic. Now, if you want your most prominent striker score and your best striker score and the one that you want to get the goals, you maybe want to play them on the right hand side as the advanced forward there because the left one does have the take more risks. So that does indicate that they will be trying to win the ball and lay it off to the right hand side. Uh, right there but let's go through the tactic then so it is a positive mentality tactic in possession you are very narrow you're playing centrally you're hoping that these complete wing backs and these wingers are all going to push inside pass into space on the approach play play out of defense you've got shorter passing directness with a tempo that's standard uh, mix crosses in the final third work ball into box and run at the defense on the dribbling in transition counter press and counter with your goalkeeper distributing to the fullbacks by throwing it along out of possession you're going to be using the offside trap you got much higher line of engagement with a standard defensive line uh, force opposition outside on the defensive width extremely urgent pressing intensity the prevent short goalkeeper distribution and the get stuck in instruction is on guys so you might be racking up quite a few yellow cards uh, using this tactic so you have the teams that we uh, were doing the test with you've got the tactic you've got all the instructions let's get on with the test and have a look at all the results at the end of the season right then welcome back everyone and here we are in the premier league because that's where we are starting off with the two teams that are being tested which is manchester united and west ham and they both did incredible both finished above expectations manchester united unfortunately coming second two points behind liverpool that is a shame because they had a bigger goal difference than them but west ham they were the mid to low team and they finished fourth they've qualified for the Champions League next season. So that's absolutely fantastic. And look at the teams that are below us. All right, Chelsea, 15. Tottenham, 12. Uh, they had a very bad season. But uh, before I continue, just a quick little bit of advice with the tactic. All right, don't use this tactic all the way through. And when I say that, I mean don't use it all the way through the match. Um, if you are winning by one goal and it's the 85th minute, a few options that may help you out in keeping that lead is the fact is you can drop the mentality. All right, In possession, you might want to take off the options that could lose you the ball, such as passing into space and running at defence. 
When you're looking at the in transition, you might want to tell your goalkeeper to slow the pace down. And when you're looking at out of possession, you might want to drop the much higher line of engagement down a little bit so you have more players in the box and maybe your standard defensive line down as well so you're defending. Uh, the other way, if you really need a goal, a few options that you may want to take a take the advice on is mentality take it to attacking or obviously extra attacking passing directness up it a little bit so it's more direct you might want to play a little bit faster if you've got some big men in the box or you're planning on putting big men in the box you might want to play for set pieces and hit early crosses uh, right there you got in transition you might want to get your goalkeeper to distribute quickly or get it over the back line see if one of your pacey forwards can get on the end of it and then out of possession you might want to push some of your defensive lines up uh, and try and do it that way but let's go back to the tactics so it did absolutely fantastic with these two teams as you can see first uh, second and fourth is nothing to moan about if we go down to the player stats the top threes you can see there Rashford is the top goal scorer in the league with 25 league goals and it's pretty much all about Manchester United their average rating Bruno Fernandes 7.67 assists belong to Telles and Fernandes 20 and 14 and Fernandes came joint first on player of the matches so Fernandes is a very good player obviously uh, Manchester United's competitions how did they do so they won the FA Cup so at least they uh, got something out of this test. Right? Got a little bit of silverware. In the final, they beat Liverpool 2-0 right there. Carabao Cup, they went out in the uh, quarterfinals. And unfortunately, the first knockout round in the European Champions Cup got knocked out by Dortmund. That's a shame. It would have been nice to get a little bit further. But uh, unfortunately, it wasn't meant to be because we all know sometimes tests can be a little bit random. Sometimes it can be absolutely incredible. Sometimes not so much. That's why I gave you that advice at the start, just to tinker around in game time using those instructions that might help you keep the lead or get an extra goal and a point if you need it. Uh, if we go to the squad then, how did the squad do in general? A lot of greens there, good average ratings. It looks like the players on with the tactic pretty well your best player being uh, Bruno Fernandes in all competitions got 23 goals and 29 assists that's some good attributes and good stats uh, right there and then if we look at the biggest goal scorers in the team right you got Rashford, Martial, Fernandes, Cavani, James and Greenwood all getting double digits with obviously Rashford and Martial being the two highest goal scorers and the biggest suppliers in the team again a lot of players getting double digits here Fernandes, Talas, uh, Martial, James, Greenwood, Wambasaka 13, 13, 14 There's a lot a lot of play going on there a lot of creation as well so let's go to the team report then let's have a look at the general performance when compared to the rest of the league and it's looking pretty solid all right you're getting a lot of goals and you're not conceding as much as you think you would with a tactic that seems so attacking especially with the the top of teams maybe with the lower teams you'll concede a bit more but uh, obviously use your, use your knowledge of football manager and uh, change some instructions and that might reduce the bad numbers uh, shots per game as well getting a lot there Analyst report, the full numbers then, 173 goals for Manchester United and 76 conceded. It's quite a lot. You played in a lot of competitions, but when it comes to the league, it was 121 goals scored, which was the best team in the league, and 46 conceded, which was the third best. So that's pretty good. Now, West Ham, we can look at their numbers now. We know they haven't got any players in the top threes apart from yellow cards, uh, but they finished in a very, very good position, which was fourth. In the competitions, they got to the semi-final of the Carabao Cup, went out to Chelsea, unfortunately, lost only 1-0, though. Uh, and then in the, English, in the English FA Cup, the fourth round, they got knocked out by Wolves. So the squad, how did their squad get on with it? Not bad. That's quite a few players getting some decent ratings. Your best player being Creswell, 7.33. Uh, got 12 assists, Creswell did, playing on that left-hand side. Uh, biggest goal scorers, you've got Yarmolenko, Ben Rama, Antonio. All right, Bowen and Fornal was all getting double digits. Your biggest goal scorer was Yarmolenko, though. And then uh, biggest assists, Bowen, Lingard, Creswell, Ben Rama, Antonio, Yarmolenko is all doing very well. So it's not on the higher scales like Manu, but you can see where a lot of players are getting goals and a lot of players are getting assists as well team report then for the underdogs or for the mid to low teams that's very good the general performance is you're still scoring a lot of goals you're expected to score a lot of goals as well even though it's very attacking and even though you are a mid to low team on the predictions you're still conceding very well all right it's only 1.66 you're on the outer edges of the averages and doing well on the shots and if we go to the full stats it's 117 goals and only 69 Goals conceded, that is actually very good for a team like West Ham. Uh, if we go to the league, it was 100 goals scored, which was the third best, and 63 goals conceded, which was the ninth worst, right? So about mid-ish 
compared to everybody else. So yeah, absolutely fantastic in the Premier League. Let's go to France. All right, PSG and FC Lauren, how have they done? Again, <laughs> very, very good. Now we all know PSG are always going to win the league no matter what tactic you get. But at the end of the day, they are the elite of the elite. And it's nice to see the big numbers of what could possibly happen when you have a world-class team. Because you might adapt this tactic 10 years in the future when you are absolute dominating. And you want to see, right, I want to get some big amounts of goals now. And this tactic may allow you to get it. Uh, PSG, they actually went the whole season unbeaten. 115 goal difference with 102 points. But FC Lorient, they are the underdogs. And again, they finished fourth. Right, because it's France, they don't get a fourth place Champions League spot, so they're going into Europe, uh, but still very good for them. Top threes are all right. There's a few F uh, FC Lorient players in here and a lot of PSG players. So goals, you've got Cardi with 37, Moffy for FC Lorient, 28, and Moise Keane got 27 now. Mbappe did get injured. And he did play on the wings as well. So I'm guessing if you play him up front, you play him as a striker, you would have got a lot more goals for PSG. But unfortunately, in this test, they didn't do that because I don't normally uh, lock players in a certain position so they can rotate, come out when they're injured, come out when they're tired and so on, just to try and replicate a real season. Uh, average rating, Cardi being the best player, Neymar and then Moise Keane, all PSG players. Assists, Neymar and Boisgaard. 22 assists for Neymar, 14 for Boisgaard. And you can see here... FC Lorient's boys got, got eight player of the matches and came first. And then Navas got to the first place for clean sheets with 18 clean sheets. So PSG's competitions, how did they do? Yeah, that's what we like seeing. All right, they won absolutely everything they can win in the first season. Unbeaten, Champions League, French Cup and Trophies as Champions. They got everything. In the Champions League, they beat Ch uh, Liverpool 2-0. French Cup, they got to the final, beat Marseille. 5-0 and the trophies as champions it's against Marseille again and they won 5-1 a lot of goals for PSG if we look at the squad pretty much every single player bar four or five didn't get in the green average rating so yeah attacking and PSG just one of the same uh, best player was Neymar with 23 goals 28 assists biggest goal scorers Icardi, Key, Neymar, Mbappe all right, Draxler, you got loads there. 16, 22, 23, 33, and 50 for Riccardi. Biggest creators in the team. Again, Neymar, Di Maria, Mbappe, Sarabia, Benat. There's loads of players getting so many um, assists in your team. Obviously, they're all chipping in. And it's a fantastic tactic. Obviously, with your complete wing backs coming in, you got your wingers coming in, your shadow striker, your, you got your advanced forwards, both supplying each other. So, uh, yeah. Nice one, PSG. Team report, on a whole, it's going to be absolute domination, and it is. You're getting nearly four goals per game on the averages. You're expected to score over three. You're conceding less than one. Getting a lot of shots off as well. And the full numbers is 213 goals. 213. It's always nice when you break the 200 barrier when it's a tactic test, and you only conceded 55. In the league, 150 scored and 35 conceded, which were both the best well done psg fc lorian equally well done the underdogs got fourth place your reputation is going to go up and you're going to have a lot better season uh, ne next season when you've got the money the reputation and more players coming in hopefully you can uh, push for a top three and get champions league football we've seen the players in the top threes how did the competitions go we know they didn't win ninth round they got knocked out in the french cup all right let's go to the squad so with underdogs, you tend not to get greater average ratings than the top teams, but that's still a fair amount. All right, your best player being Boys God getting 7.37. Uh, biggest goal scorers was Moffy with 28. And then you got Gerbich, 14, Boys God, or Wizza. All right, 13 and 10, or Wissa. So very good there. And then if we have a look at the assists, it's at Boys God getting the most with 14. Team report for the underdogs. It's not bad, once again, just like West Ham. All right, you're getting a lot of goals. You're doing fairly well on the conceded, even though you're playing a very attacking tactic. Um, you're still on the top ends there, and you're getting a lot of shots as well. So the full stats was 90 goals and 63 goals conceded. So it was pretty decent for a team like FC Lorient. And uh, I think you can be fairly happy with it. Nice position, decent numbers. So let's go to the uh, three teams we chose as the lower league teams and see how they did. Blackburn, they play in the championship 
in England. They came fourth, they went out in the playoffs, unfortunately, but you've got so many players in the top threes. Armstrong, 41 league goals with Brereton getting 26. Fantastic. Go down again, Bristol Rovers. They got promoted through the playoffs, and once more, you got a couple of players in the top three stats and then down a league again to Leighton Orient in League 2 you were the champions finishing on 90 points getting quite a few players in the top threes once more ladies and gentlemen this is the Cashmere Tactic so hopefully you download it hopefully you find success with the tactic if you enjoyed the video subscribe and like it all right so thank you very much for watching enjoy your saves good luck and I'll see you again see you later bye